got that on there. Obviously, two here is hooked up with the pressure switch. Pop right open. Yeah. To release the other two. And open up the the slide and get the right popping around. Some of the key features here. Second press is the Reach it back. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the 2016 SHOT Show here in Las Vegas. What we're going to talk about first is our uh, TPT EDC Everyday Carry. You'll notice right off the bat it's really small, nice and handy size, but, but performance wise it's pretty, uh, pretty remarkable. We, bottom line, we took all the, uh, the details out of our number one selling pen light and stack the uh, the battery sideways in here, made it a little bit shorter, used a polymer body instead of an aluminum body, kind of took the uh, overt tactical police look out of a pen light and uh, made it a little bit more pocket friendly, particularly for those folks who are not looking for something that looks so tactical. Uh, it's a great way to get an essential tool in other people's hands and pockets and packs uh, just because it looks a little bit different. On the back, we've included a pocket clip so you can keep it in your pocket like most people like to carry their light. Uh, the pocket clip's removable, so if you want and prefer to carry it on your keychain, you can slide your split ring through uh, these slots right here and you're good to go everywhere your keys are, your light is. Kind of doesn't help you to find your keys in the dark because the light's already attached, but we're sure you'll be able to figure out a way around that. Um, the neat thing about this is that it comes in three colorways. This is our sandstone, so it's obviously sort of a military color and pattern compatible. We also do black and, uh, and we do a, a yellow, which is kind of a high visibility. That'll be the one that's easy to find in, in lower light if, it, if you happen to lose that. So um, the switch is on the bottom. It's very simple operation, kind of like a Traeger. And just one touch on, one touch off, easy peasy. There's, uh, there's one output. It's rated at 91 lumens according to the ANSI FL1 standard. Uh, the runtime is about four and three quarter hours. Your time may vary. And all of our flashlights that include a primary battery uh, come with Duracell batteries. So, uh, so you know you're getting a quality battery right out of the store. You're good to go. Um, the, uh, again, this is the, the TPT EDC, Everyday Carry, brand new from 511. Uh, what we're, one of the things that we're showing here at the show is a light that is going to come out in fall of 2016. This is uh, actually this is our TMT R1 rechargeable flashlight, but it's going to come out in a slightly different version. Uh, we're going to we're going to provide exactly the same flashlight, but with our just our. Re, um, primary battery cartridge, so you'll be able to put two CR123A batteries in here and drive the light, just like you can when we sell it in a rechargeable configuration, but uh, because we only include those disposable batteries and that cartridge for the batteries and the light, uh, the retail price point has come way down, so folks who don't need or want uh, uh, rechargeable light or don't want to spend $130 on the rechargeable version, be able to spend quite a bit less money on this. The, uh, the R1 is an aluminum body, aerospace aluminum, and uh, nicely machined. It's got a type 2 anodized finish. You'll note here that it still has the contacts. If at some point in time you decide you want to convert it to rechargeable, nothing to it. You just buy a rechargeable battery, uh, buy one of our rechargeable mounts, uh, bases, and that, that'll come with AC and DC connectors and you'll be good to go no matter where you want it to be. So this is, um, is uh, going to put out about 344 lumens on high, pretty bright light. It's also got low and uh, strobe outputs. Sorry if I messed with your camera on that. Good. But uh, it's about two and a quarter hours or so on high if you want to leave it on full time. And, uh, and then the low setting is going to put out about 33 lumens, so it's much better suited for closer in light. Uh, it's got a nice heft to it. Obviously, we have the crenellated bezel. Like with all of our lights, we have polycarbonate uh, lenses in here, so they're virtually break proof. And uh, we have an anti roll rubber ring on here, so if you put it on the hood of a vehicle, it's not going to roll away. And of course, virtually all of our lights come with a pocket clip, so whether you want to stick it in uh, hand pocket or a gear pocket, 
it's going to ensure that the light will be where you left it the next time you need it. So again, this is a, a new primary version of our chargeable light. This is the TMT P1, P for primary. What will we expect that to retail for? Do you have a retail price for that? Uh, I believe the retail is going to be $89.99 as opposed to $129.99 for the full rechargeable package. So, so the uh, the other light we're going to talk about today that's uh, coming out in the fall, and uh, another version of a rechargeable like the R1 we already discussed, is the, uh, the TMT P3MC, so P again for primary battery. It's a primary battery version of our rechargeable light. So you can see again it's got the charger connections, all the same construction. Um, in the primary battery configuration, it will use the lithium 123s. Big difference on this light is it's going to put out a little bit more uh, output on high. It's 366 lumens. The low is also about 33 lumens. Run time's about two and a quarter hours. Uh, about the R3MC, a couple of differences, right? So up here on the tail cap, we have a lockout tail cap. So if you don't want it to go on, you don't want to lose the, the, uh, the run time you've got in those batteries, just make sure that it's in the off position. Rotate it one click and you get white light, so there's your 366 or so lumens. Uh, and it'll give you high, low, and strobe. All right, whenever we offer strobe, it's always the last in the sequence. Uh, <clears throat> it also gives you the option for red LEDs steady on and, and uh, strobe, and blue LEDs. Oop, there we go. And uh, so blue has been really popular with, uh, with customers who go hunting. Great for checking blood trails, following blood trails. Red is awesome for, you know, of course, going to the stand early before dawn. Um, a real awesome all-around light. The, the neat advantage here, buying at a primary version versus rechargeable is you go from uh, about $160 retail on rechargeable to about a, uh, I think it's a $119 um, on the primary battery version. So you get all the same functionality, versatility, and, uh, and pay a bit less money. And again, you can convert it to rechargeable at some point in the future if you want.